The crash happened last Thursday along Clarecota, a Coe Road. Troopers say the car they were riding in was trying to make a turn when they were hit. News 6's Jerry Askin joins us live from the crash site tonight. And Jerry, you just learned the county is now looking into making some safety improvements along that stretch of road. Hey, Ginger, yes, the county leaders told me in the past hour or so they're initiating what they call a traffic safety evaluation here at this intersection. Today, Sean Jones Oliver spoke with me exclusively about the pain and grief she felt over the past couple of days since that crash. You can see right here behind me just how loved this family was, the many balloons and teddy bears and flowers here. Oliver told me it's been awful having stage four cancer and now losing two of her kids and three grandkids. And I just want to thank the community for their support. As tears ran down her face, the pain and hurt Sean Jones Oliver now has to experience is like no other. She's devastated. You know, I'm going to miss all of them. And I can't call on them anymore. Wearing her neck brace, she's still recovering and too shaken up now to show her face. She was the driver of the vehicle that troopers say tried to make a left turn here on Gaymar Drive from Claricona Okoe Road when she was hit from the side by an oncoming car. Her two daughters and three grandkids riding with her sadly were all killed, including her granddaughter Chloe, who Oliver said was so supportive during her battle with stage four cancer. She always prayed and just lift me up with her smile. This also coming as Oliver is calling for more safety measures here at this same intersection especially after a separate fatal crash here back in January. Monday, we saw this patrol deputy parked by the crash site. As Orange County leaders told me, engineers have now initiated a traffic safety evaluation here to be completed by May 30th. Another traffic light, speed bumps, because they do fly down that street all the time. Yeah, you know, what a devastating story. We'll keep you posted on that traffic investigation. Today I checked and troopers told me the driver of the other car is recovering and they say charges are pending in this crash. Now, if you want to help this family raise money for those funerals, I posted a link to a GoFundMe account at this story at clickorlando.com. We're live here in Orange County. I'm Jerry Askin getting results. News 6.